What's up fellas? In this video I just want to address a quick topic that a lot of people ask and a lot of people talk about in the forums. How much oil do waste oil burners burn? How much energy do they release? Well I'm going to show you a simple formula that will give you something called the kilowatt hours which is equivalent to the wattage output of the device. Now there isn't other ways of determining this but they're very complex equations that evolve converting hours into minutes and into seconds and all this other stuff. So this is the far simpler equation and I have checked this against other equations. So they're all close enough together that I think this is going to be the best one to use. In addition to that, I'm going to leave three videos in the description, three links, that is going to show you what a two liter an hour flame looks like, which is 19.9 kilowatts what a four liter an hour flame looks like or a burner running at four liters an hour and that is 39.8 kilowatts or something that's running at about three gallons an hour or 12 liters an hour and that's on the order of 119,000 watts of energy and I think it'd be pretty cool to show um, also, real quick, what the energy is that's needed to melt 10 pounds of iron, which comes out to 3.5 megajoules to melt 10 pounds. However, because forges are not 100% efficient, most your heat's obviously blasting directly back out of the forge. So you have to maintain a temperature or an energy input at a minimum of 3.5 megajoules. So in colloquial terms, that means a minimum of 969 watts for one hour is needed to melt 10 pounds of iron. Some of you guys may snicker at that and call me a complete idiot, but remember, forges don't input all their heat into the crucible. Vast amounts of energy are wasted. If you had a completely contained electrical system, I guarantee you, a thousand watts in a completely contained system would melt this iron if you left it on for an hour. I've seen crucibles made out of um, stovetop elements that can do some pretty impressive things if they're completely contained. They, they, they've got to be completely contained in vermiculite or some other extremely good insulating refractory. But, but there you have it. That is the uh, the apparent theoretical minimum input for one hour to give us that 3.5 megajoules to uh, melt that iron. But of course, we would really want to be at the very least 20,000 watts blasting into this thing to give us that 969 watts, just to be clear. I do not recommend a two liter an hour flame for a forge. It's just not hot enough. Um, it might be. It may be, I could be wrong. We'll look into that. I just feel like it would take too long. But uh, we're gonna see a flame. I don't have the exact specifications on this two liter an hour flame, but I do have one that I know for a fact is about two liters an hour. This one here, I have the exact specs. Same thing with that. So, shutting up now, I just wanted to point out that that 3.5 megajoules means 969 watts for one hour minimum, bare minimum. That's going into the crucible itself, not into the furnace. Until the system heats up. So burning a single liter an hour of waste oil would technically give you the heat you need, but it would take so long to do it because the amount of heat flowing out of the furnace is probably almost every bit of the 36 megajoules. So, I would recommend for some of the forges that I've seen that you run around the 4 liter an hour mark. That's right around 39,000 watts of energy. Plenty of heat to give you your 3.5 megajoules for a 10 pound melt. I don't know what you guys are doing in those crucibles. It looks about like 10 pounds or more to me. I could be wrong. Maybe it's a little more than 10 pounds. It can be deceiving, I know. Oh, by the way, copper... Um, is slightly lower in the energy needed. 385 joules per one degree Celsius per kilogram is the heat needed. And that is um, the specific heat is what that constant is right there. That's a constant. 
and for iron it's 448 joules per one degree or kilogram but at any rate I just thought that'd be cool so if you guys ever want to calculate how much energy your oil burner or your oil heater is releasing you simply multiply the liters that you burned in a one hour time period by 36 because there are 36 megajoules per liter and you multiply that by 0.277 because there are 0.277 megajoules in a kilowatt hour or vice versa I can't remember which way it is so if I'm wrong forgive me for that it's vice versa but that's just a figure that enables you to convert megajoules into kilowatt hours kilowatt hours is not the same as kilowatts necessarily it is and it isn't it's um it's i don't want to sit here and blow you up with a bunch of stuff just trust me when i say if you're burning four liters an hour you're right around forty thousand watts of energy if um if you disagree feel free to show me where i'm where i'm wrong i've been messing with math all my life so i am fairly well versed in this stuff so at times i'm quite hard to convince but uh, don't give up on me if, if you see error in my way you know a wise man heeds correction and fools despise wisdom 